Hey there, everybody. Um, I hope you're doing good. Today we're starting our Alabama, Our Beautiful Home, Chapter 10, Entering the 20th Century. So Chapter 10 study uh, for Section 1, we're looking starting to live in the 1900s. Technology, Transportation, Section 4, Agriculture, and then World War I. This is our timeline from 1885 to 1920. Um, let's see, 1885, not, uh, 1900s, 1901. Uh, the present Alabama State Constitution was written. 1903, first successful airplane flight. Henry Ford sold first Model A car. 1906, Alabama Power Company built their first dam. And 1917, the United States entered the first war. Uh, entered World War One, and then 1918 flu pandemic. World War One ended, which where uh, that was in 1918. It's 2021 now. This started in 2020, so almost 100 years later, we're we're in a pandemic ourselves. Objectives: recognize the characteristics of life in the early 1900s, assess the impact <coughs> of the Constitution of 1901 on voting rights in Alabama. Section 1, starting to live in the 1900s, EQ, your essential question that you need to be able to answer. How did Alabamians, lit up, how did Alabamians lives change in the early 1900s? There's change a-coming, change ahead. And some people don't like change. Change can be scary, but it's not always a bad thing. It's usually a good thing. Section 1, starting to live in the 1900s. What terms do you need to know? Poll tax. Poll tax is just where voters had to pay to vote. And, but the bad thing about it is, is that when they paid the poll tax, it kept most of the poor people from voting. Everyday life in Alabama. Life did not instantly change at the start of the 20th century. Heat came from iron stoves or fireplaces. And this is what an, an iron stove, something similar what an iron stove look like. Of course, there are different variations. People opened their doors and windows to cool their homes in the summer. Candles and oil lamps, you can see in the lower right-hand corner, were used at night, and water came from a well. Some people still have wells. Sick people were cared for at home, and doctors tended to come to people's homes when needed. In 1900, Alabama was mostly rural. You can see that's denoted here in this graph in blue, and urban is in red, <coughs> and there were a few large towns or cities. The new constitution of 1901, the main, the main issue for the new constitution was who would have the right to vote. Blacks were 40% of the population, but the new consti constitution made it harder for blacks and the poor to vote. Voters had to be male, age 21 or over, able to read and write, able to explain any part of the U.S. constitution, and they had to be able to pay a poll tax, which was a tax in order to vote. These requirements reduced these requirements reduce the number of voters, both black and white. The Constitution of 1901 is still in use, but has been amended to make life easier for all citizens to vote. In our next section, you'll see we're looking at technology, 